The Reader's Forum. Sexton got it right about Fox Sexton was right two out of three Sunday letters, October 29th, were appalled at Scott Sexton's piece about the childish outburst by Virginia Fox on the Capitol steps. Add mine to the plus column for Mr. Sexton. My family's rule was never to tell one another, or anyone else, to shut up. It's unacceptable and lacks class. But it regularly appears the norm for Fox and her brand of performance politics. She and Senator Ted Budd are through and through Trump acolytes who do not represent North Carolina well. Trump certainly doesn't and never has. I had to reread the article to see how Mr. Sexton so heartlessly assassinated her character, she's done a pretty good job of that all on her own, if a person or party doesn't want to be called out for rude behavior, then don't act rudely. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than too many news organizations today have peddled, unbiased, reporting in exchange for honest reporting. This allows repugnant behavior like Fox's to appear normal. Scott Sexton is an opinion writer and in my opinion one of the best at the journal, period. He speaks truthfully and honestly about whatever he wants. More times. Than not it's for those with no voice. Nothing he said that I read was untrue or a lie. Perhaps that's where the problem is. There is one positive to end on regarding Mrs. Fox. At least she's no longer an educator, using her position of influence on young, impressionable North Carolina minds. That's a plus. Time equals. 400 ms. Greater than Mike Walkup Kernersville what the Bible says the writer of the letter. All God's children. October 27th, apparently doesn't accept either the more than ample evidence that the Bible is the inspired word of God or what the Bible actually teaches. The Bible is sufficiently clear that marriage is between a man and a woman. Therefore, it behooves everyone to follow that teaching, even if they think that such a teaching takes away their societal right to marry someone of the same sex. Sadly, our nation's laws have steadily allowed increasingly more immoral practices, including homosexual marriages, but that does not mean that such practices are all right, at least not according to God's word, as evidenced by scriptures. Granted, people sometimes use the Bible to support doctrines that are not actually condoned by the Bible. And sometimes people misunderstand what Jesus Christ taught. Jesus certainly taught people to love other people, but he did not provide any valid reason for people to believe that this necessitates a allowing people to violate scripture without making them aware that what they are doing is sinful, and or b, not condemning sinful behavior. The writer of the aforementioned letter also indicated that not supporting people's right to marry someone of the same sex takes away those people's rights to full citizenship. Homosexual marriage has nothing to do with citizenship. It has to do with what is, or is not, morally correct. Nevertheless, the writer of that letter was correct that God loves us all. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than Harvey Armour Winston Salem Rince and repeating more loved ones slaughtered by a mentally ill man armed with a weapon of war. The only way the story has received this much coverage is because of the manhunt angle. As Stephen King said, rinse and repeat. Here's a fact. Republicans are responsible for stopping any sensible gun regulation, including availability of their beloved AR-15s and the like. Republicans are willing to accept this level of murder, since Republicans refuse to protect the American people. The least they could do is establish a fund to pay for the funerals of victims. Maybe gun manufacturers and sellers could kick in and fund compensation for orphaned children and surviving spouses. I'm not holding my breath. What can you do? Call Ted Budd's office and let him know where you stand. And vote. M. Craig Fuller High Point Blood Lust Israel's contention that Hamas is responsible for the large number of Civilian deaths because they are using the population as human shields does not hold water. The U.S. is making a dangerous mistake by supporting Israel in this misguided slaughter of civilians, the majority of whom are women and children. The sad fact is that Israel is willing to kill as many noncombatants as possible to save Netanyahu's political skin. This bloodlust will surely backfire and support for Israel and the U.S. will erode in proportion to the carnage. Bill Wallace High Point tags politics school systems sociology the Bible religion law education. Christianity armed forces weapons crime catch the latest in opinion get opinion pieces, letters and editorials sent directly to your inbox weekly, sign up. Asterisk I understand and agree that registration on or use of this site constitutes agreement to its user agreement and privacy policy.